Okay, thanks for watching my video. Um, this video is about a problem I had with using IntelliSense. It's part of the IDE for Visual Studio 2013 community. So I'm going to walk you through the problem I had and how I solved it. So here I'm loading Visual Studio 2013 community. So in 2013, you can get the latest download from Microsoft. Just navigate to their website and you can download it. So here's a splash screen. I'm going to go in and open my file that I was having problems with. So click the OK. I call the file sandbox, it's kind of like my scratch pad. So those functions there should be highlighted as part of the IntelliSense. For example, if I go to this particular link, uh, for my H file, you can see that IntelliSense is working. So if I go to definition, you can pull up the actual <coughs> uh, function. You can see how it's built, its construction. So that tells me IntelliSense is working correctly. But the problem is in the main INO file, you can see that function was not being highlighted. So you can see the INO file is, again, not working. The function is not pulling up. It should load um, just like this one here. Uh, I click it, it takes me into the actual source file. You can see the color coding is working, so you know the IntelliSense is activated. So now I'm going to pull up Atmel Studio 6.2 and this will show you how the IntelliSense should work. Or better yet, how the IntelliSense is supposed to work. So Atmel Studio 6.0, you can download it from the Atmel website. It's great for doing Arduino programming and other um, AVR, Atmel chips. Great IntelliSense, great functionality and debugger. So here I'm going to load the exact same file that I had to open in Visual Studio 2013 community. And you can see... Um, that IntelliSense will be working. I'll click on the actual INO file. And here you can see that the functions are highlighted and I can actually jump into the actual CPP source file to see how the actual um, function is constructed. So you can see everything is working great as compared to Visual uh, Studio 2013. If you go to the Options menu, you should will see how the structure <coughs> of the files are set up. 
to be read as part of the text editor. So you can see that um, you can see by Atmos Studio it didn't pre-populate any of the extensions that are required to uh, activate the IntelliSense. Normally expect to see the INO file or the uh, PDE file um, showing the actual extensions that's used by, by Arduino uh, IDE sketches. And that's supposed to what links into the IntelliSense to identify all the keywords, functions, and other important parts of your code. Although it does work, you don't see the extensions um, stipulated in that, in that uh, text file setup. Now I'm going to go into Visual Studio. I'm going to load the same file again. But first, before I do that, I want to check to see that the INO files are set up. So I'll open my sandbox file. You can see the IntelliSense is not working for this function. If I go to the options and I'm going to go into uh, the text property box. You can see that the INO file is being stipulated there and the PD file is also being stipulated but yet the uh, IntelliSense is not working correctly. So what to do? I'm going to go into the RegEdit and I'm going to try to manually force Visual Studio 2013 community to recognize the INO file the same, same way it uses a dot h or source file where the IntelliSense does work. First thing you need to do is navigate to the actual uh, Hive file. In this case I have to go to Atmel Studio under software. Okay, there it is. And here you can see all the different uh, setup parameters in that particular hive for Atmel Studio. And you can see the INO files are shown there. Now if you go into the actual Visual Studio 2013 community setup under software you can see here that the INO file and the PDE file extensions are missing. So we need to correct that. You 
you can see it's missing right there so we need to go in and correct that directly in regedit now the first time I came across this I was searching through the internet for some information on this particular problem and I came across this post <coughs> but this was specifically for the Atmel IDE Visual Studio 6.0 or 6.2 But I figured I could do the exact same tweak for the actual Microsoft Visual Studio 2013 community by going into the whole tomato registry entry and manually putting in the INO and the PDE file extensions. But to confirm all that, I wanted to actually load them um, into a tool called Notepad++ to compare the two files. So I exported um, the hives themselves and here you can see I use the compare plugin in Notepad++ and you can search for that particular uh, source extension entry You can see here I'm comparing the two files and the little heat map on the right shows you where the code is, is the same and where it's different whether something was added or whether it was removed or edited showing change. So there I want to scroll down to the particular entry or you can search for it. by hitting control F and entering the particular parameter you'd like to search for. You can see if you go to the top of the file or just move it up and hit find again or search it will go to that particular parameter entry. So now what you want to do you want to make sure those two entries are equal in terms of um, the file extension which is going to be your INO and your PD file extension. So you have to manually go in there and enter that so back to registry go to that parameter setup and you want to manually edit that line for that particular parameter and add in the missing extensions. <coughs> Make sure if you copy you take out the quotation marks. That's it. Everything should work okay now. You just gotta close out the registry. Do a quick little confirm just to make sure everything is as it should be. So back into the registry. Back to the whole tomato entry. And you can see that it's been updated correctly. Make sure you close down the registry entry before you run Visual Studio. I'm going to go in the exact same file as having problems with initially and you'll see that the IntelliSense now is working correctly for the INO file. So I mean, let me clarify that originally it was working, it just was not working for the INO file or the native Arduino sketch um, file um, extension. So it would work for your .h files and it would work for your CPP files, but it would not work for your Arduino um, INO or PD files. So here you can see I can go directly to that function uh, declaration in my source CPP file and showing that, that the IntelliSense is now working correctly.
to confirm that, I'm going to go back into <coughs> the text editor setup under options, and you can see that the INO and the PD files are now entered in there correctly, and everything is actually working now. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, as I discover new things with the IDE and uh, any problems that might be perplexing, I will be posting on YouTube to hopefully help others, uh, you know, get their code working correctly. Thanks for watching.